I often get asked if you can use your AutoCAD blocks as a starting point for creating Revit template content. The answer is yes, but it's likely more work than what you're expecting. Let's take a look at that process while creating a door tag. Move your cursor up to the big R. Click on the R, highlight over the word New, and click on Family. Open up the Annotations folder. Select Door Tag and click Open. This is opening up the Door Tag family in the Revit family editor. These two green lines, where they intersect, is the insertion point of the Door Tag. Now let's bring in that AutoCAD content directly into the Revit family editor. Move your cursor up to the Insert tab on the ribbon, then select on Import CAD. Go to your desktop. Find the Working Files folder, then select on Door Tag. I like the settings as they currently are. Positioning Auto Center to Center will work well for this kind of family. And preserving the colors, this means that we will see those default colors as they were inside of the AutoCAD environment. If you want to see those as black and white, you can change those to black and white. But I prefer to preserve these colors. The reason is, is this tells us if it's still AutoCAD content or if it's been converted in the Revit content. Now select on Open. We can't see that much has happened, but if we scroll in using the wheel on our mouse, we can then see that right in the middle of this family, we now have the door tag. If we select on the door tag, we find that it's essentially an AutoCAD block that's been brought into Revit. Now we have two different options. The first option is one that I like to use on very simple objects such as this one. And that is to come up to Create, select on Line, then use your Pick Lines tools. If you select on Pick Lines, make sure your subcategory is Door Tags. You can then select on each of these lines, going around this door tag, and now you have that correct pill shape going around your door tag. If you hit escape a couple of times on the keyboard, you can then move up here to the Create tab again, select on Label, click somewhere inside of that pill shape shape, look for the mark. Click on Mark, select Add Parameters to Label. The mark is the door number. Click on OK. Here's the number. Hit escape a couple of times on the keyboard, scroll out. Highlight on that label that you just created. Now adjust the text box so that it's basically the same size as that 101 that was originally in the CAD file. Now drag this so that that number is in the same location as where the original text was inside of the CAD file. The next thing that you can do is get rid of that CAD content out of your project environment. Highlight over until you're selecting just on that import symbol. Click on that then click Delete, and now you have your finished door tag that you can name and then load into the project. You can name your door tag by coming up to the big R, doing a Save As, giving it a name that you recognize, then go to Load in the Project to load this into your project template. The other way that you can do this, Undo to show that, is a little bit more complex. But depending on what it is you're trying to accomplish, sometimes that makes a little bit more sense. Keep hitting undo until all the line work and text that we just created is no longer there. Once you've done that, select on that AutoCAD information. And this is the only time you will ever see Explode in the Revit environment. If you click on Explode, I highly recommend that you never ever do a full Explode. In AutoCAD, a full explode would be if you continued to hit explode until the hatch pattern and the text and dimensions were all individual lines, which we know is a very bad thing in AutoCAD. Well, that's a very bad thing inside of Revit as well. So I really wish that full explode wasn't there. I like to use a partial explode. Now these are all individual lines, which we can now select on by holding down the shift key, clicking on these lines, Moving over here to where it has Lines A Door Iden, that was the original AutoCAD layer. Now, what I'd really like to do is change this to be a different type of line. Come over here and up on the top on the ribbon, there's a subcategory option. Change this to Door Tags. 
It's now the door tags line work. Click on the number, and really there's not much that we can do with this. This is just a piece of text, so we need to delete this now and replace it with a label. So you can come up to create, click on label, click inside of that pill shape like we did before, scroll down, look for the mark, select add parameter to label, click on OK, hit escape a couple of times to get out of the command, select back on that label again, readjust the size, click on the text, bring it to the same location the other text was at, I will point out that underneath properties, it says label 330 seconds of an inch. You could click on edit type. And if we needed to use a different font or a different font size, at this point, we could pick that different font or different size off the list. Once that's set up, click on OK. Now you could once again come up to the big R, do a save as, give it the new name, then load that label into your project. The problem with this method though, and it's not really a problem, this is actually a nice method, is that before you load this back into your project, there's probably one thing that you should do. And that is to come up here to manage and then do a purge unused and purge out everything that's currently not being used. That will include such things as text that may have been brought in along with the AutoCAD stuff. There might be AutoCAD fill patterns brought in. AutoCAD arrowheads could get brought in. AutoCAD line styles could get brought in. If any of those are brought in, we likely don't want to load those into our Revit project environment. So make sure to put check marks next to each of those. Click on OK, purge it out, then load it into your project environment. So there are two different ways that you can take existing AutoCAD content and then bring that content into your Revit template. The first way is to come up here to the Insert tab, Select on Import CAD, bring it in, center it in nice, and then trace over it. The second way is to explode it and then convert all that information into actual Revit content.